Don't forget to subscribe to my channel Sephra Korea and hit the bell icon for regular notification. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to prepare a starter uh, recipe. So it's the Malai Kebab and uh, it's very simple and easy. So let us marinate this quickly and the marinated chicken should be kept in the fridge for almost 4 to 5 hours so we'll add some ginger garlic paste and some salt so this is 500 grams of boneless chicken which is cut into this medium pieces I'll squeeze half a lime and I'll add some cream some nice good thick amul cream you can use cream from a local dairy also and I'll add just a bit of clarified butter just to add to its flavor giving that Indian touch and to add to the spicy flavor I'm going to add the pepper powder so I've added good quantity of pepper powder and in this it's only the cream the malai that's going to be giving the actual flavor in this chicken dish so we are not going to add too many ingredients it's only going to be the cream and the cheese giving that flavor to this chicken i've just added a little bit of kasuri methi which is the dry fenugreek leaves just a little bit of it and this is one cube of cheese I'll grate it so I'm going to add the grated cheese and give this a nice good thorough mix Using a glass bowl, a glass container for the marination is the safest. I use the glass borosil ones. It's because glass is not reactive to anything that is acidic and normally the marination is always acidic we add lime or yogurt or tamarind or sometimes vinegar in the marination so that's why i prefer using the glass containers for it and i'm going to cover this and it will go in the fridge for a few hours so it's been almost three three and a half hours that this has been marinated in the fridge and it looks so creamy and nice it's good that uh, if you marinate it for a long time like almost four to five hours but this is going to be my lunch for today so i'm in hurry to prepare it and so i think three hours is just sufficient enough now there are two methods of making this malai kebab one is uh, if you have the OTG then you can place this on those skewers uh, there are two types of the wooden one uh, or the steel one and you can place it on a tray and grill it for the required amount of time and the specific temperature so that I'll be doing in my upcoming videos and uh, but in today's video I'll be frying it on the pan because for those who don't have the OTG then you can try this method of doing it 
so we are going to light the gas let it be on high flame and the pan that I'm using is a steel one you can also use the cast iron pan and uh, all of that the variety of recipes okay frying on the cast and all will all be uploaded in my upcoming videos on my channel so i'll be trying a lot of variety of stuff so you can uh, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my regular updates and also some baking and some grilled recipes of chicken and all non-veg paneer tikka and all will all be uploaded uh, by using my OTG oven and also I'll be making a brief uh, review of the OTG that I have so in today's video I'll be doing it on the pan on this uh, stainless steel pan which I have and I avoid using the aluminium one because of some health uh, concerns regarding that so the preferred option is uh, the cast iron pan or the stainless steel one so also when it comes to cleaning uh, the vessel stainless steel is definitely very convenient and nice so let this oil get heated up yes it's heated up now because you know i've used the coconut oil and it gets heated up very quickly so let me quickly add these chicken pieces on the pan and I've reduced the flame So it's important to cook this at the right flame. I have not kept the flame too high but it's on low flame. The reason is because I have added the cream in this and the cheese and I don't want it to get burnt. So let it cook, let it take its own time. So I have kept it on low heat. And also these chicken pieces will get cooked well and we just want a nice you know golden brown uh, kind of coating on this so when it's kept on low flame the entire chicken will get cooked well and also this will get a nice good colored coating or else if you keep it on very high flame it will instantly get burnt and the meat will not cook also well it may remain raw inside so now i'll slightly increase the flame to medium because i just want that tinge of golden brown which will add to the flavor and the taste that makes a perfect kebab okay, so i think it's done let me just have a check yes let me remove it just so i think it's got a nice brown coating it's well fried yes in my upcoming videos i'll be trying out this recipe this malai and lots of different stuff like the grilled chicken in my otg 
so you can stay tuned for my more updates so i lay the second set of kebabs and if you have the kitchen pincer then you can use it to lay these kebabs so right now i'm just managing with the spoon So guys the kebab is ready and it looks so tempting and yummy you can uh, garnish this with some freshly cut coriander leaves and also serve it with some green chutney some mint chutney and the recipe to that i'll be posting in my upcoming videos so this is my recipe of the malai kebab which i have made it on the pan and also i'll be showing you all that how to prepare it in an otg and a lot of variety of recipes which i'll be trying and sharing it in my channel so everyone don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching this easy recipe of mine of the malai kebab or uh, the the malai tikka recipe yes and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and share it with everyone and drop your comments below in the comment section because i enjoy reading all the comments that come and definitely it encourages me to prepare more content and make lot of videos for you all so drop your suggestions in the comment section below and stay tuned for my more updates see you all in my more more upcoming videos